Hey guys, welcome back to Free Software Tips. Just a lot of you had some trouble in understanding with my previous tutorial, so I've made another one that is much easier to follow. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you on how you can apply some workarounds in order for you to fix your Google Chrome unresponsiveness or not responding. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So on our first step, we're going to change our DNS. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the taskbar. We're going to search and locate for the um, network icon or if you're in case you're using Wi-Fi, you can see a Wi-Fi icon right here. You can just go ahead and right click it and go to open network and sharing center. It will bring you up to the network and sharing center window and on the top left portion of the this window, you can click on the change adapter settings and then locate for your adapter and right click it go to properties again we're going to search for internet protocol version 4 in this window or tcp slash ipv4 going to click it and select properties in this window we're just going to change the um, use the following dns server addresses the preferred dns and alternate dns server change it as follows 8.8 .8 that 4.4 for the preferred DNS server and alternate DNS server is 8.8.8.8 afterwards just hit ok and close all the other windows afterwards we are going to go to our command prompt to execute two commands which are flash DNS that enables us to refresh and use the new DNS that we have just put in and net sh winsock reset command that resets our network configurations back to default or clean state. So let's go ahead and go to our start menu right here. If you are using Windows 7 or later version, you can just go ahead and search for CMD or command prompt and click it. But on Windows 8 and Windows 10, you can just right click the start menu button and select command prompt as admin. So we're going to type in um, IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Afterwards, we're going to type in the uh, netsh command. So type in netsh space winsock space reset. Again, hit enter. And you can now close this window. So after that, you can just go ahead and restart your computer and see if. Your Google Chrome is now working. If it's still not working or it still crashes random times, you can do this next step if you are now able to access Google Chrome but still you experience sudden crashes or unresponsiveness. So go ahead and open up Chrome and go to this um go to the uh, this little three box icon right here. Go to settings. On the search bar, type in hardware. It will bring you up to um, two checkboxes right here and by default use hardware acceleration will be checked. So make sure to uncheck this one. And just, um, you can now close Google Chrome. And see if it's already working. So now if it's still not um, opening up or you're still not able to uh, use your Google Chrome, we can go ahead and go to our file explorer or yeah. Just type in the address bar um, percent app data percent. And then click again the uh, the on the address bar, delete the roaming um, part and go to local and search, locate for um, Google folder right there and click on Chrome user data and you will see a default folder right here I'm just going to rename it as default that old and then you're just going to minimize or close this window and we can now open up Google Chrome and it is now reset back to default so yeah that's it guys if you're still not able to um, open up your Google Chrome, there's I think there's no other option left. You'd have to uh, reinstall Google Chrome 
um, for you to be able to make it to work on your system so uh, I guess that's it guys thanks for watching if you like this video leave a like if you don't like just leave a dislike I will appreciate your comment down below and I will rep reply to you as soon as possible thanks for watching this is free software tips